Hello and welcome back. We are learning AWS IAM. And today we are going to talk about third type of IAM policy known as inline policy. People are very confused about this particular policy, but I am giving you surety that after completing this video, you will have clear understanding about how this particular policy known as IAM inline policy is actually working. So let's start. Welcome back. So far, as a part of our IAM learning process, we have completed three types of policy, AWS managed policy, customer managed policy, and now we are going to talk about inline policy. If we talk about use case of all these three policy is to give some permission or deny some resources from AWS IAM entities like user groups and, and roles. But use cases of these three policies are completely different. We have already completed practical demonstration of AWS managed policy and customer managed policy. Here we are going to talk about inline policy. So as always, let's start with the introduction of inline policy. First of all, it is direct association. What is meaning of direct association? Inline policy are policy that are directly embedded within a single IAM user group or role. In contrast with our normal policy like uh, AWS managed policy or customer managed policy, which exists as a separate entities in AWS and can be attached to multiple IAM user groups or role. Inline policy is exclusively used by one particular entity. This is a main difference between our managed policy and inline policy. Policy is in JSON format. We have fine grain, whatever permissions that you want to give, you can give it. It means writing policy is the same, procedure is same. But how you are going to assign this policy is different over here. Let me give you a practical example so you will get better idea about this. What I am doing right now, I am in AWS console. I am going to open IAM console and I am going to create two users. Okay. Let click on users and I am going to click on create user. Giving name user1. Yes, I want to provide IAM access and going to set a password and next and create a user. So right now I have user 1. I'm going to create another user as well, user 2. So right now I have two users, user1 and user2. Now I can attach same policy. It can be AWS managed policy or customer managed policy to these two users, right? So let's do one thing. Let's go to the policy. We are creating policy as a separate entity over here. So I'm going to click on create policy. Here I'm going to use JSON and I have one policy that I'm going to copy and paste over here. If you look at this particular policy here, I am giving permission to that particular user that you can access EC2 services in a read-only mode like you have read-only access to EC2, but here we have restrictions that you can access this from only AP South 1. Okay, I am just using different type of policy while giving you example so you can get idea. Then okay, here you can write policy and you can give permission on a specific region as well. 
Now, next, I am going to say that my managed policy. Okay, my managed policy, and let me click on create policy. So, we have just created this policy. Now, I can attach this policy to multiple users, right? So, I am going to the users, I am going to user 1 and going to give permission, add permission and attach policy in giving name. See, this is my manage policy. I just assign this particular policy to user 1, right? Now, if I want to assign same policy to user 2, right? I can do this. Let me go to the user 2 and add permission, attach policy. Here, I am going to say my manage policy. Next, add. And if I am going to user 1, I can see this my manage policy is attached with this user and also attached with another username user 2. So, when you are going to create your manage policy, you can attach this policy with multiple user group and roles. But if you are going to create inline policy, this policy is actually attached to only one entity. You cannot create inline policy separately. Let us say that if I am going to this particular uh, policy console and going to create policy, no, I cannot do this. I can create inline policy directly with the users and then it is only attached to that particular user. I cannot attach it with the another user or entity. So, what I am doing? I am going to create one user, giving name inline policy user. I am user custom next next not going to assign any policy right now return to the list now here i have this user inline policy user now i want to create one exclusive policy for this user no one can use this particular policy uh, with other user or entity so let me create inline policy now when you want to create inline policy you have to go to you Sorry, sorry, I know that you want to watch full video, but full video is now not available on YouTube. If you want to watch full video, I want you to go to our website. When you will go to our website, you will find out our course 100 days YouTube challenge. I want you to enroll for this course by paying only 499 rupees for lifetime if you are from India. If you are from outside of India, you just need to pay 7 US dollar. Once you will enroll to this course, you are going to get all full videos over there on our portal. You are also going to get certificate after completing the course. And we have just uploaded 120 videos. We are going to upload another 120 videos as well. So there will be total 240 videos. I hope. We are going to meet inside the class. Thank you very much.